Hello guys, in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to fill up your loop. Oh, what's this? Is that a pirate ship? Oh, there he goes, look at him float. Oh, he's sinking, yeah. Well, apparently you need the quality to float, not cuteness. Or pirate ship we hardly knew you lad, into the Davy Jones locker you go. Where were we? Oh yeah, what you need is EK Cryo Fuel, what you need to buy is demineralized water that you can purchase in any grocery store. And the filling bottle from EK if you don't have any. Open the filling bottle, fill it halfway with demineralized water in, then open Cryo Fuel, pour the whole bottle in, and fill the rest with demineralized water. Congratulations, you got yourself one liter of high performance liquid for custom loop. Pro tip, if you need more cooling liquid, keep in mind that the demineralized water and EK cryo fuel are mixed by applying the 9 to 1 ratio. Now you need the power supply unit and it absolutely doesn't matter whether if it's already installed inside the case or is it outside of it as long as no connectors are wired to any of the PC components. Next, we'll use the adapter that comes in the package and connect it to the 24 pin PSU connector. Plug in the PSU power cord and then connect the 4 pin pump connector with the appropriate power adapter that comes with the package. We'll open the reservoir fill port by using the Allen key from the package and finally we get to the filling bottle. Pro tip, if you want to save time during filling, remove this cap from the filling bottle. Yes, it's true, with the cap, the dosing is more accurate. But man, that can take ages. So it's your call. When you filled up the reservoir, you need to turn on the PSU and the pump will start carrying the water throughout the entire loop. Turn on the PSU, fill up the reservoir again and turn the PSU on once more. You probably figure that we need to do this until our loop isn't completely filled with liquid. Keep in mind that it's perfectly normal for the loop to have plenty of air inside, so leave the pump on and after a while, the air will vanish. It may also sometimes occur that the air bubbles will get stuck in some spots, which again is perfectly normal. If you want to get it out of the system, you can turn the entire case over and this will practically pump out all the air from the radiator. But all in all, it isn't necessary, just leave the system working for some time and all the air bubbles will die out in time. During the process where patience is a virtue, you can open up the fill out port cap from time to time so that all the air pressure could come out and to add some liquid if necessary. And the final step is to connect 4 pin pump PSU connector with a cable extender that comes in the package and connect it to the CPU fan header of your motherboard. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the EK water cooling kit. Now you can enjoy in silence and performance but something is missing. Oh yeah, the RGB. <laughs> Perfect. Like we said, anyone can do it with EK.